Hello there and welcome on my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna explain you how to get these nice little avatars underneath in your stream. <laughs> First thing you need to do is go to Steam and search for stream avatars. You will find this page and uh, you have to buy the software here. Okay, after you've done that, you are going uh, to download it on Steam, obviously, and you will uh, open the program and it will look like this. I'm only explaining the basics in this video, just because otherwise the video is going to be super long. What you want to do is go to login details. Uh, what you see here is your initial setup. Uh, what you have to do is set up which streaming service you use. I'm using Twitch, uh, so you select Twitch. Then uh, you have your channel R token. Uh, what it is is it's a it's a key with a lot of uh, numbers and letters. You don't have to actually know that out of your head. You can just get channel token. You log in with your uh, Twitch account or well maybe your YouTube, and you will get the token. And you will, if if you've done that, it will automatically get you a tick here. Same you do with your bot account. You have to make a bot account. If you didn't do that already. Just go to Twitch, make a new account, and uh, call it your name and bot behind it, maybe. And then you log in with that one on, on, on this button. You'll get a tick behind it. So if, if you have the two ticks here, you're ready to go. What, what then? You've set up your uh, bots to be recognized as the bot of stream avatars. And what we're going to do now is actually choose an avatar you want. Uh, so go to Steam Workshop. Uh, wait a bit. I think so. Load it. And then you can... Choose one of those um, avatars, whatever you want. There are lots of different ones. Uh, I love this one. Let's, let's download this one. Uh, let's download it. It will take a few minutes. Um, yes. So we'll just download. It's done now. It didn't actually take minutes, but you can go to avatars and gears now and um, they will pop up here. Here it is. It is automatically assigned um, to frames and stuff like that you don't have to do anything you import it from the workshop you can say that they can uh, have certain gear sets here they come with the sprites and you can see what they are uh, right here just go to gear item uh, you can say that some of these things uh, can't be used uh, so we have set, we chosen an avatar here we've, we've got it set uh, what we do now is we want to go to general because we want to we want to set when people get an avatar. When do people get an avatar? Right now, for me, I have it on followers or subs that are active in the chat. That are like actually in chat. They don't have to chat, but they have to be in chat. This is where you can change it. You can set it to everybody. Everybody who's in chat gets an avatar. If you have three, three viewers, that might be something for you. If you have above 10, I would recommend not doing this already. Uh, you will probably want it to follow or sub, which means that everybody who's following or subbed or both uh, gets an avatar if they act uh, if they're in chat. You can also set it on uh, sub. If you're bigger, if you like having fifty people in your chat, you don't want everybody who follows walking around underneath you because that's really cluttered. You might want it on sub because then just ten people are there. Uh, you can also have them whitelisted. You can. Put people on the whitelist and then only they appear in the avatars. Uh, here it says in chat or active chatters. Active chatters is they have to have been talking the last, I think, 10 minutes. But I think you can change that as well. You can also enable uh, to connect so it will connect immediately if you started the program. Uh, hide mouse uh, cursor, but if you just minimize the program, you don't need that. There's also an extension for it on uh, Twitch. If you're using that, take this. I will um, explain how to get that. So you get the extension by going to your Twitch page. Go to dashboard by clicking on this. Go to dashboard and then click on extensions. You will see this and just type stream avatars here. It will appear here. Uh, install it. Then go to your Twitch page. To a channel. Go underneath here. Edit panels. Then you click on the plus, it will say add an extension, but I already have three extensions. So you just click on add extension and click on stream avatars and you will, it will appear like this. It will look like this. 
people actually have to authorize before they can see all the avatars. So um, if they don't see anything, just say that they have to authorize and then uh, they can see and click on the avatars they want. I can switch my avatar right here. You will see a preview of where you're going to be like there. Uh, gear you can also set here. If you multiple have multiple gears, you can change them here. And here you can change the uh, window size, which is actually just the whole program you're seeing now to uh, let's say 720 because you're streaming on 720. I would recommend just having it on 1080 and put it in your OBS though. Yeah, and you can uh, also make backups and load backups here. What now? Are we done? Eh, we're we're kind of done. It's it's running, but not 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 probably not like you wanted to. If we go to bot options. You can also allow other things. Um, what we have here is dancing, hugging, attacking, and farting. Those are just actions that the um, that the avatars can do. You can untick them, and then they can dance. If I do expression mark dance in chat, I, my avatar will dance. Uh, you can have a cooldown on it. Also, hugging and attacking. Attacking, you have to put another username after it because you need to attack somebody. Same with hugging. Uh, you can fart. Uh, you also have the fart uh, sound. With it, I don't like that on my stream, so I put it down. You can have it up if you like farting. They also have uh, alerts in the chat, basically. You can have a follow e event. If um, if somebody follows, it will have a have a message in chat saying, oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, you can also uh, connect the two commands. So you can say, everybody dances when somebody follows. You can also uh, set it on everybody fart. If you do mess and then change this to fart, Everybody will fart. Literally, everybody will fart if somebody follows. <laughs> Same with bits. If somebody got a bit, you can change this message anytime. Don't don't change this part, uh, name and total and amount because those are pieces of the code. If you if you de delete that, it doesn't say um, the amount of bits anymore, and it doesn't say the name of the person who did it and the total of bits they did. Uh, so keep that in mind. Same with subscriber. Um, Here's a list with all commands <laughs> and what they do. That's a bug command. Uh, exclamation mark. Everything everything starts with an exclamation mark. Help um, will work and it will explain about the avatars. And you can restrict anybody who can do it here. Uh, that goes with every, every alert here. Uh, so just, just figure out what you want. Uh, you can let people choose gears from chat. You can... Let people choose an avatar from chat like this. Uh, there's also a slot machine and roulette that is for the currency. I would recommend turning these off if you don't use the currency because they might interfere with your uh, with your other bots if you have uh, stream elements or uh, stream labs. If you go to backgrounds, you can select a uh, little uh, Jurassic or a little summer, um, and you can change them here. You can also uh, add your own uh, backgrounds in here, but I will explain that in another video, guys. <laughs> uh, name tags. Uh, this is the developer of the game, that's why we see his name there. Um, pretty need to know. What you can do is you can create different name tags. I have one for general. This is this is how my name tag looks if you're just a follower. This is how it looks if you're a mod, and this is how it looks if you're a sub. You can change it all by changing the texture. Uh, changing the colors, the thickness, the spacing. Uh, you can edit a background for it, uh, a border, and a, and a texture. You can do that all. Uh, just type something here, create a new one, and you can change everything. Uh, there's also mini games that you can set. Here's the slot machine. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use any um, of these uh, mini games if you are not using the currency. So we go to shop editing. And you can get your currency settings in here. You will can have an income. People that are in chat chatting, how much they get per uh, per something. So I can say ten per ten minutes, uh, ten seconds. Sorry. Uh, you can say if somebody follows, they get ten extra. If they subscribe, they get another ten extra. You know, you can change the uh, the currency name to uh, gold or coins or whatever you want. And you can have the enable uh, exchange mark currency command, which they can check the uh, currency, how much they have. So you can go back to the avatars and you can say, this avatar, if I have like uh, avatar, Hanzo, IQ, McCree, 
a Mercy Rota Controbian. That those are my avatars. We've made them ourselves. Um, you can say Hanzo is like 10, 10 bucks. If you have earned 10 bucks, you can buy Hanzo and you can use Hanzo. Uh, you can say only followers can buy Hanzo, or you can say only subscribers, or only moderators, or you can only give it to you. You can do the same with colors. If you have recolors, recolor I don't have recolors. Uh, you can set it on uh, the price as well. You will see the same uh, thing here, but then with the colors. Same with gears. You see that my spark is only for subscribers. Uh, the rest is for everybody. Everybody can uh, get that one. You can say that attack on certain people costs money or only for followers. And name tags. You can say the name tags are only for followers, moderators, or subscribers. Then we have user editing, which is actually uh, how people spawn in. So if a new follower in chat appears uh, and they haven't had an avatar yet so they just followed i guess uh how how does the system pick a character so what i have set on is it's gonna pick a random character it's gonna give them the general name tag because they are not a subscriber or not a mod they're just a follower then uh it will pick a random hat and random gear or random gear you can also say everybody who spawns spawns as hands up um, there are also users um, that you can whitelist and blacklist. If you blacklist people, they will not appear in the avatars. You can also say that your bot is a bot, so they don't appear in, uh, in street avatars. Clear your currency here. Everybody gets zero currency uh, if things went wrong and you want to clear everything again. What we're going to do now is click here on connect. It takes a second and then um, you see that the avatars loaded in here. Uh, make sure you uh, cl tick auto hide here, so if you not hovering over it, it will disappear. So what you want to do to actually get an OPS set is, well, go to OBS. Click in the plus, add a game capture, and call it stream avatars. Just because you know what it is then, right? Click on uh, capture specific window and stream avatars. Allow transparency, because otherwise it will be gray screen here. And they will be in. Uh, you might have to like drag it a bit if you think the grass is too high and you you see them walking right now thank you guys for watching and uh, we will be back with more about stream avatars also uh, more other videos about streaming so don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up leave a reaction in the comments to say what you think about the video because i want to know what you you think about it also if you uh, struggle with something with streaming that i didn't make a video about yet uh, leave a comment because I will make a video about it. <laughs> and um, don't forget to check out my socials. We also have a Discord where I have a channel where I help streamers in. So don't forget to join the Discord as well. And I will see you guys later. Bye!